What's going on YouTube? Clover Bells here, back with another Scarlet Valley video. And today we're going to be doing another team building session for Series 3, aka Regulation C, using the Dragon Knight Champ Hell combination. Now, this is again a request from a Tier 3 sub uh, to the channel. So again, if this is something you're interested in, if you're trying to get a squad ready uh, for the ranked ladder or for an upcoming regional, an upcoming online tournament, uh, again, that is a, a sub to the channel. If you check the video description and the comment section or every single video has a join button, uh, that's what we do on this channel. We do coaching. We are able to sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and build the squad that you are most interested in. And I show you how to do all the EVs uh, from scratch. I show you how all the damage calcs and the math works. And sometimes if we have enough time, we even get to test the team on uh, the ladder a little bit. But uh, anyway, but this is a, a Dragonite Champel squad that I wanted to take a different direction with. Um, I was going to normally go for a little bit more balance and you know, this is still going to be like balance, but I want it to be a little bit more aggressive because also the viewer is a, an aggressive player. So I figured let's cater to their, their play style and let's make the team, uh, extra, extra aggressive. Now I, I can also explain some changes I would make if you're more of a defensive, more balanced player. Uh, but as far as the, the sub goes, uh, the request goes, we're going to make this a little bit more uh, hyper aggressive. Okay, so first of all, what is the combination with Dragonite and Chiampo? So because of Sword of Ruin, uh, you know, with uh, dropping defenses, uh, Dragonite uh, is able to do a lot of damage with extreme speed priority moves, right? So it doesn't matter whether there's Trick Room or there's Tailwind, uh, because you have extreme speed pressure uh, along with the Sword of Ruin, and then you can also do like Terra Normal, you're able to, you know, pick up a lot of KOs. And this was the case, you know, early on in the format before even Series 1 began, uh, aka Series A. You know, people were afraid of this combination, but then over time, you know, people realized, oh, okay, wait, wait, we can we can manage this damage by a couple of different things. Uh, but anyway, that being said, you know, don't forget Chan Pao's attacks also get a nice little damage boost because you're a physical attacker um, and you're benefiting off of your own ability in Sword of Ruin, right? Uh, the other thing is um, the speed, you know, again, you're speed tying the flutter main stuff. And again, you're also one point slower than the bundle. So just make note of that, especially when you're playing in a tournament setting, you know, just to see like who's faster and who's not. Uh, it's a, just to be mindful of that, right? But anyway, in terms of like team construction, I think these two are very, very strong. But I also want to bring back a couple of more familiar friends uh, to the fray here. Uh, now, you might also think that there's another physical attacker that can do well with Champo, and that's like Palafin. And that, and while that is true, I feel like this kind of team, you know, if you do involve the Palafin, would involve a different kind of archetype, more of the Rain kind of duo with like Pelipper stuff. You know, with Palafin, Pelipper, um, then you have the Amoongus, uh, and then some Steel type or, you know, some other filler like the Iron Hands, right? Just so that you don't get smashed by the Iron Bundle. This is one kind of archetype I would do. And if you want me to build this team in our session, then, you know, again, just join the channel. Uh, but I'm going to take a different direction with Dragonite Chan Pao. Um, even like the Gyarados stuff with like uh, Fede Campos team, that was also really, really good. But I'm going to bring back um, Flutter Main. Okay, and I'm going to bring back Chiyu. Okay, I'm going to add a special uh, special attacking element to the team uh, with these two. And again, this was part of our original team building video where we did the, the Flutter Main Chiyu series. So again, you know, with the support uh, from the Chiyu, you're just dropping special defenses. And then the Flutter Main and the Chiyu itself is just uh, exerting a lot of pressure uh, because they're both very, very strong special attackers. Both of them with base 135 uh, special attack here. But uh, in addition to this, uh, I'm also going to consider adding uh, a Scissor over here, right? So Scissor is, again, the other, um, the big game changer that I feel like on this team. Because first of all, with Dragonite Chien Pao, um, again, you get a physical element. And then also Chien Pao Scissor can also do that as well. Because Scissor gets Bullet Punch, okay? And at the same time, it also gets Pounce, okay? And uh, along with Technician, this is doing a lot of damage, especially in the meta where, you know, the Runation Pokemons are like Dark Types. So we're in a dark heavy meta and, you know, bug type is really, really good against that. And because there's still going to be like Flutter Mains running around, um, the bullet punch pressure against the Flutter Main is also really, really strong. So I feel like Scizor in this kind of format is much better than it was in previous formats. And you should expect to see it even more uh, rise through the ladder. And we've done some videos on how Scizor was able to survive, you know, whether it be Series 1 or Series 2. Um, but it wasn't really like making a huge impact. But now I feel like the Scizor uh, can definitely make... Uh, some kind of splash just because the steel and bug typing is really good uh and currently against uh those ruination pokemon all right so then from here you can see that we have a dragon fairy steel core right dragonite scissor flutter main 
Uh, this was, uh, and again, some of the successful teams in Series 2 also use Dragon Knight Scissor F Fluttermane, uh, depending on the tournament. So I figured let's bring that archetype over here along with the Chien Pao. And then we still get special attack coverage from Fluttermane and Chiyu. And then to honestly round out the last slide here, I like the Iron Bundle here with the booster energy. So a little bit more speed control with the Icy Wind pressure. Um, and you get uh, a nice little lead with Chiyu, Chiyu and Iron Bundle. You can Icy Wind stuff. You can, you know, click Heat Wave or exert a lot of pressure. Same thing um, with the Fluttermane. Ideally, Fluttermane Iron Bundle is another thing you could do. And then you can just clean up with your physical sweepers in the back with all these priority moves, right? So it's going to have Sucker Punch over here for sure. Um, Dragonite's going to have E-Speed, and then Scissor is going to have Bullet Punch, for example. So you have three Pokemon with, um, you know, priority moves. So, you know, the Tailwind and Trick Room stuff is not going to be, like, so big. And, you know, if you really wanted the, the Trick Room stuff and Tailwind stuff, don't forget, Scizor also gets Tailwind. And I was trying this out a little bit, you know, when I was testing the team, and I found myself not really clicking it all that much. But the times that I did click it, it really helps because then I could go for, you know, other attacks besides Extreme Speed on the Dragonite and same thing on the Fluttermane, Chiyu, and the Bundle, right? So the times that I did use it, it came in handy, but I just wasn't really clicking it all that much. Um, and then at the same time, Fluttermane also gets Trick Room over here, uh, which I did click uh, a couple of times just because uh, you want to flip those Tailwind um, teams upside their head by clicking this, right? So that's the idea here. Um, but as far as like the six, I like the six. You get a Dragon Fairy Steel Core, and you also get a Firewater Grass Core in the Chiyu and Iron Bundle here. And where's the Grass type? This is your Grass type because the Chiyu, um, again, you're weak to water, you're weak to ground, um, and Grass can resist both of those things. And then you take neutral damage from a Fighting type attack. Whereas you know if you weren't the, this Terra, then the the Fighting type attack is super effective. So um, I feel like the Grass Terra is really really nice on the Chiyu. You can ignore, ignore the Amoongus stuff. Uh, which is very, very convenient. Um, so that's the idea there. So we got the best of both uh, VGC cores on this type of team, potentially. Uh, and we'll talk about all the other Terras in a second. But as far as like the six, uh, again, this is what I feel like uh, is very, very aggressive, especially with all the priority moves. And, you know, this is what the viewer wanted. This is what they paid for. So this is what we give them. All right. So let's go ahead and round out uh, the, the GIFs over here on the bottom of our screen. And then we'll go ahead and uh, finish off the team in terms of movesets, items, and EVs. Uh, and then we'll show a couple of test games that we did on the ladder uh, using the squad. So uh, Dragonite Champel you see at the very bottom. Then we'll use the Scizor, the Chiyu Fluttermane combo, and then finally the Iron Bundle to round it out. Okay. All right, back to Chiyu over here. Chiyu, back to Chien Pao over here. Um, so yeah, I kind of had to make a choice here because normally the Chien Pals like to have the Focus Sash, but I actually put the Focus Sash on the Flutter Main just because Sash Flutter Main is actually really, really nice and convenient in certain games. And I can't tell you there were so many games where I said, thank God I had the Sash on this Fluttermane. Whereas the Chiyu, I really just wanted more damage to really pick up KOs. But the Fluttermane's value really came when I had the Sash. You might have a different experience, but I'm just saying, like, when I was testing the squad uh, and building it uh, for the viewer, this is what I, I had to go through. So with Chien Pao, what we're going to do instead is we're going to go Life Orb and we're going to have Protect, of course, right? So uh, we're just going to do a bunch of damage with this Chien Pao. And especially with, like, Priority Sucker Punch, it's just going to do so much and then you have the Ice Spinner, of course, you know, you can just destroy terrains, make Ndidi, uh, Armor's teams, plus Hatterene, very, very sad. Uh, and then from here, you can also just use Sacred Sword. Uh, really, really good fighting move against other Dark types, against Steel types as well. Good into the Don Dozo stuff, especially with Life Orb, you can put on a lot of pressure there. Um, not, uh, I'm, I don't know if Don Dozo is going to be even as good as it was in Series 1 and 2, uh, just because of the, the new Renation Pokemon and how teams are constructed, but I still definitely expect to see some in top cut just because how consistent it is. But again, if you're more worried about that, then you can just definitely go for Haze over here because Chen Pao does get Haze, uh, and it is a nice tech to have uh, against Dandozo stuff. If that, So if that's how you want to deal with it, definitely consider it. Other than that, uh, Sacred Sword is a very, very uh, acceptable move, uh, I would say, on Chen Pao. Now from here, Dragonite, um, Extreme Speed, of course, uh, for sure. Then we're going to go Choice Band here. Just because, you know, the, the extra damage that you get with Choice Band along with Chien Pao is just so busted. Um, it's hard to ignore. You have other options. You can go Assault Vest here uh, along with Inner Focus and just be like super, super bulky. And you can compensate for the fact uh, of Chien Pao's uh, ability, you know, reducing defenses. So the Assault Vest uh, can also, you know, just regularly add to your bulk just uh, for that reason. Um, and then, you know, if that's how you want to play, definitely uh, give it a go. Lumberry is also pretty interesting. Uh, I tried this as well, along with Protect. Um, so if you want to go that route, definitely can do that. But I, I just had 
uh, a little bit more better of an experience with the choice man uh, and this is the way the viewer likes to play anyway, so I decided to stay with the choice man But if you want the assault best definitely settle for it But other than that extreme speed dragon claw and here's the clover tech stomping tantrum uh, Which originally I did not have when I was testing the squad, but then as you climb the ladder you run into those um, Silly little tinglu teams uh, that like to go for terra poison, which is what we had on our flutter main team anyway so you need something against terra poison tinglu and I can't stress enough, once again, the ground coverage is once again still important in Regulation C. So if you have it, great. Stomping Tantrum is good. It's also great into the Iron Hand stuff um, that's still running around as well. So you, you have some merit there. And even the Arcanine stuff, the King Gambits, the, the Gold Dangos, ground coverage still very, very good. Um, and with Choice Band, you won't be disappointed, I promise you. And then over here, you had some other options. You had like Fire Punch over here. I think that was also really, really nice. Uh, I, I wasn't really clicking it all that often. Uh, but then, you know, you can also consider the Ice Spinner. But then you have Ice Spinner on Chien Pao. I even consider Brick Break and Low Kick. These are all, like, interesting tech moves. But then I realized, hold up. Aerial Ace, I remember I, I saw this on stream in the regionals. And how it just one-shotted the Amoongus stuff. It was kind of funny. And it's your stab move anyway, along with Dragon Claw. And you can definitely pick up a lot of Amoonguses. And a lot of other things that are like Terra Grass. Just because they don't want to have to deal with like Among Us stuff. So Aerial Ace was really, really helpful. And there were some games where like I used it. I was like, oh my god, this move is still good. <laughs> Alright, so I went with Aerial Ace in the end. But definitely there's some options for Dragonite. But I feel like on this kind of team with Chien Pao, um, I think it's um, much much more appreciated as opposed to other builds. Scissor over here. Bullet Punch and Pounce uh, again. And then just so that you can deter the Ar Arcanine stuff. Just like how you have Inner Focus here on the Dragonite. I kind of just wanted to clear Emulator on the Scizor. Um, you could even consider Choice Band over here on the Scizor. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Choice Band here and then Assault Vest on Dragonite or even Assault Vest on the Scizor. But I just went with the Amulet in the end. Um, and then just to avoid the Arcanine stuff, you can even just change this to Terra Water um, for that reason and that reason alone. Sword Dance is really good. And then Protect in the last slot here. Um, I was thinking other... I, I, again, I was trying out Tailwind. Uh, I, you heard my story on that. I even considered Trailblaze. Because Trailblaze, again, will f fulfill the Technician requirement where you're an under base 60 uh, move. And then again, this is another coverage move that you can get on Scizor. So there's, there's definitely merit to this. Um, but I just like Sword Stance sometimes. Uh, but you, the viewer, are more than happy to you know replace this move. It's it's subjective. There's also other moves like Close Combat. There's moves like x -Scizor, right, where it's just a little bit more damage rather than Pounce. But... Uh, other than that, I think Pounce is still a better move just because you can get speed control off of it, right? Uh, but again, I just went with Swords Dance. So lots of options. Swords Dance is really good, uh, especially a very, very nicely timed one. And then you just click Bullet Punch and things are, are dropping. Flutterman here, Dazzling Gleam and Shadow Ball. Uh, again, with the Focus Ash, you're normally not doing so much. But with the Chiu, you know, you can kind of compensate for that a little bit and then protect in this last slot. Um, the Chiu itself, uh, we're going to go with the Choice Scarf set. Uh, and then, you know, with the uh, Heat Wave and Dark Pulse, um, your two stab moves along with Snarl Pressure just to reduce damage. And Stab Snarl really hurts a lot, especially with, um, you know, Chiyu dropping defenses. And we're going to go Modest, by the way. And then over here, you have Overheat, your single target move to just blast through things. You can remove, um, which, oh, what, what is that Pokemon called? The Great Tusk, you know, in, in our battle, you're going to see how we one-shot it. Uh, but it's just, it's just a, a button where you can say, I want to win right now and I want to remove something. You click overheat and it does just that. All right. Then the iron bundle over here. Again, it's going to have freeze dry. Very standard set with freeze dry, hydro pump, icy wind, and then protect. Four Pokemon would protect. So that's very, very good with positioning and, you know, being able to bait certain attacks. So I think it makes a lot of sense. I do like Terra Ghost over here um, in certain situations just so that you don't get faked out by the, uh, you know, whoever has fake out. Um, I think I used it a couple of times against some Iron Hands leads, and it was actually really, really convenient. Um, so definitely consider that um, as an option. And like I said, Terra Grass over here. Um, Terra Fairy, you know, on the Flutter Main just to do a little bit more damage with your Dazzling Gleam. Uh, where is that fairy I'm typing? Right here. Scissor, we said Terra Water is really, really nice just for the Arcanine stuff. And then Dragonite and Chien Pao over here. Chien Pao, actually, I also like Terra Ghost as well. Um, just for, again, that fake out stuff, uh, you can deter from that. Um, and just do a bunch of damage, um, you know, just because you can get them out of positioning. But this is the six. 
um, in terms of like move sets and items so now what we're gonna do is go back into the chimp pal and start showing you some very very basic uh, general evs that you can do with this team all right let's just take a look all right so back to the chimp pal over here so basically what we're gonna do is because i i also understand that the chimp and flutterman uh they have the same speed tier you can still make them both 252 252 uh it's not a whole big deal uh you know but other than that if you're afraid of speed tying your own flutter main right so what you can still do is either you do this where you're still jolly uh just take one point off right and then this way you you still know that your flutter main is faster or uh you can do something a little bit more interesting and just go with an adamant spread uh, where you're still doing a lot of damage and then you're going to go for a little bit more bulk um which is what i'm going to show you here so basically you're going to go to um what we call the ev benchmarks here and we're going to go to the second one so in the attack stat, let's see where we can find the first one right here. So you see how you go from 163 to 165 and how it goes up by two points. This is what we call the first EV benchmark. Then from there, um, you can go to the second one where it is, it is a, another 80 EVs. So we're going to go up to 156 and you can see how you scroll up and you go from 174 to 176. So this is another EV benchmark. And then honestly, from here, um, you can just round out your bulk with 100 EVs left. Um, I like to end in a 9 when I have a life orb here. Um, unfortunately, that is not quite possible because, you know, I am, I'm at 168 and I still want one point at least in the defensive bulk. So instead, what I decided to do is let's bring it back down to 159 where you have 28 investment. And then just pretty much just split up this 72 bulk uh, amongst your, your, your defense and special defense like this, right? And this is our somewhat a little bit more uh, of a bulkier Qian Pao, you know, just a little bit more EVs. All right, and again, and now you don't speed tie your flutter main, uh, which is again still going to be 252, 252. Um, so for that reason, that's what we want. But if you don't care about speed tying your own flutter main like that, um, because you're going to be clicking like sucker punches or whatnot, then you can just still go with jolly. All right, the dragonite over here. So basically, with the dragonite, um, in terms of an attack, again, I'm going to bring it up to adamant. I'm going to invest just about this much right here, 52 EVs, um, just because at the time. Uh, when I had uh, Tailwind on Scizor, okay, I wanted to outspeed the rest of the format and really all you needed was about 104, you know, just to outspeed uh, an opposing Iron Bundle because that Iron Bundle at max speed, Timid, uh, if you remember, with, non with a non-Jolly booster, hits 206, you need 207, um, so 104 will do that, but we don't have Tailwind anymore, so again, you can just add a little bit more speed, it really doesn't matter because at the very least, you're going full attack anyway. And in terms of like an attack stat, I mean an HP stat, I'm still going up to 191 like this. All right. And this will optimize the sand chip damage that you're going to get from Tyranitars, which are running around. So this will bring it down to 11.9 damage on 191 divided by 16. So the sand chip damage uh, gets optimized that way. And then you just have eight points of EVs left. So you just put it in a defense and special defense like this. And this is a, a very, very standard Dragonite set. All right, Scizor, um, again, same idea where I'm going to max the HP over here because I kind of want some bulk on my Scizor, but because uh, I'm dealing so much damage anyway with Bullet Punch and then Technician, I'm still going to go Adamant Nature. I'm just going to go to the second benchmark here at 156 investment. See how you go from 185 to 187. You skip a point there. So here's another benchmark. And then from here, you just put one point in the bulk um, and then the rest just goes into speed. Not, not really so relevant with the speed stat because you're clicking your priority moves most of the time. So... Uh, go figure. Okay, and again, if you don't know what EV bumps are, EV benchmarks, make sure you comment in the video description so this way we can explain it. But we do it a lot in our one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, so you know, just uh, ask some way in the comments and I'll explain it. But again, like we said, Flutterman 252, Chiyu, same idea. Um, where you know, because you know, if you are modest nature, uh, you're going to be doing a bunch of damage. If you're more comfortable with going timid nature, because a lot of the other Chiyus are going with a choice scarf set. And, you know, you're afraid of losing the speed tie. You, you can definitely at least go with the timid set. But I like the modest set. And, you know, I, I just like the damage. I never had a problem with the modest set yet. So, you know, I guess that just maybe I, it requires a little bit more testing. But um, we played a bunch of games. And not once was I worried about, you know, uh, potential speed ties with the Chiyu. Uh, because we had other tools on the team that could take care of another Chiyu. Bundle here. Yeah, here's one of them. Bundle here with the booster energy. This makes it so that even if there's another bundle, if they don't have the booster energy, we're going to get the speed tie and we're going to win, um, you know, the icy wind spam. And then this is it. All right. So these last three Pokemon were just like 252 spreads, whereas like I was trying to optimize a little bit with these three. But again, these are just like very, very basic spreads based on benchmarks um, and bumps. 
So, you know, uh, again, if I if I just make this paste right here real quick. So you can see the Chien Pao Dragonite stuff. Again, you can see a lot of phys physical damage coverage. Um, Sacred Sword, Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, three three attacks. Same with Dragonite, another four attacks. Good coverage there. Scissor, you have potential setups with Swords Dance if you're able to time it well. Um, and Bullet Punch just does so much damage, especially when you swap in your Chien Pao. Flutter Main can give you the speed control, especially with Trick Room stuff against the Tailwind, the Hyper Offense. But even then, you know, it, because you have three Pokemon with like priority moves, it re it's really not a huge deal. And then, of course, you know, with the Choice Scarf Chiyu and then the Iron Bundle, you know, Booster Energy YC Wind, you got all kinds of options to get that speed control on your side or just like not even care about it because of all your priority moves, right? And again, Dragon Fairy, Steel Fire, Water Grass was our core here. Um, we have a lot of support options, you know, with the Champa supporting the Dragon and Scizor. Um, and again, with the Chiyu, with the Fluttermane Chiyu Iron Bundle, that's also a combination you know, to be aware of it. All right, so this was something that was built relatively quickly. So now what I want to do is showcase it uh, in some battles. Now, some of the battles, I had some other moves just a little bit there. Um, that's because after testing, I decided to change a couple things. But other than that, it's still pretty much an accurate representation of what we got here. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so this is what I wanted in the first game, right? This is a mirror matchup where he has a pretty cool team, actually. It's Champao, Dragonite, Fluttermane, as well, along with the Torkoal and Protosynthesis stuff all around for his Great Tusk and his Iron Hands. So if I'm not mistaken, he might even have trick him on that Fluttermane for that reason, right? Um, so he might want to enable it, um, enable his three sweepers in the back, and then Champao Dragonite is just there, you know, for a little bit more of a faster mode. Um, it's a cool team, actually. I, I'm not against it. It's just that Torkoal is going to be boosting my mons as well. So I still want to lead pretty much the same way because, again, my Fluttermane Chiyu lead kind of just smashes a lot of this stuff. So if I can just lead that, um, it's going to do some damage. The only thing that could probably stop that or maybe do a little bit more of resistance is his own Torkoal lead. Um, so we'll see how he does this. And it is actually just Torkoal Fluttermane. This is what I thought he had to do just because of the option that I have with Chiyu and Fluttermane. So I noticed one thing right away uh, in the beginning, uh, and that's our two Fluttermane. So I'm the speed one and he's the special attacking one. So that means I'm faster, okay? So by that logic, um, if I'm going to be going, you know, if it comes down to us, I'm going to be able to win because I'm faster. But the Chi is faster than both of us. So I'm just going to click Snarl, you know, get the best of both worlds, reduce all the special attack damage, and then just, again, you know, click a, a bunch of damage with the Shadow Ball, you know, and he goes into Terra Fairy. So he wants to remove the Ghost Weakness. Good choice there. Otherwise, he would have got swept. And here is the Snarl Pressure. Does a lot of damage. Um, even reduces Fluttermane's special defense from that Shadow Ball. Goes into the Dragonite because he has an Eject Pack Torkoal. I didn't expect that. And he crits... Um, and he gets me down to Sash. Very interesting. So there goes the Wasted Snarl. Here's Scizor. I know he's going to get um, greedy with the Extreme Speed. Not that he's greedy, but, you know, it's just the right play. So I want to preserve it. So good switch into Scizor here. And then, you know, I just get free damage off the Fluttermane with Dazzling Gleam. Good damage into the Dragonite and also picking up the uh, the Fluttermane. Back into Torkoal here. So basically, you know, I'm not really too afraid of the Torkoal. I, I have a Dragonite in the back. I just have to make sure I get rid of their Dragonite. So I'm going to leave the Torkoal alone almost. All right. And he does go for extreme. So he does crit me again. All right. There's some bullet punch damage. And here is another Shadow Ball. And we get to remove the Dragonite. So um, we lose both here, but that's okay. Uh, I just had to get rid of their Dragonite. So this way mine did not have to deal with it. All right. So now he has the Great Tusk here. And thankfully, I preserved the Chiyu, which is nice. Uh, so this way we can exert even more special attacking damage and we are, we're also in the sun So I have no doubts that I can one-shot this thing It's just a matter of are you sash or are you not or was this sash on the flutter main? So I'm just gonna try and get a little bit of chip damage with Dragonite But he protects the great test so my overheat ideas are not gonna work and I Dragon Claw the Torkoal deal a little bit of damage He's going for heat wave if he picks up the Chiyu, I think he lives. Oh wow I just clicked the reset button by accident. All right, so let me just go back uh, and show where that was uh, oops. Yeah, so he clicks um, Protect on the Great Tusk. All right, so then from there, uh, I get a little bit of chip damage on the Torkoal, which is fine. I live with the Chiyu, but like I was saying, if I if I died, I think, it, I, think I still win. It's just making a, a little bit tricky, but probably not because the Great Tusk probably has, you know, Ice Spinner and who knows, but time will tell. I, thankfully, I did live uh, and, you know, Chiyu's special defense bulk is very, very strong. So... That means I get to just freely blast the Great Tusk, which is what I do over here. And next turn, I just remove the Torkoal anyway, so it really doesn't matter. All right, and we get that first uh, 
that first win. So nice, interesting mirror. And and again, the reason why we won is because we had the faster flutter main. So um, that's one reason for the the pressure that we were able to exert. Let's take a look at another one. All right. So unlike the other one, this is a little bit more defensive. I can see like some Paris trap potential here with Got to Tell, um, and then also you know with Palafin um, and then the Tinglu stuff. So it, it really all depends how he wants to play this. But more or less the same thing. I'm gonna go with Chiu and Fluttermane yet again. Um, and he has to go with Chien Pao Palafin. So that's fine. Now I can live the Chiu hit because uh I mean the Palafin hit because I know that you know Palafin is just not so great in that form. So this is honestly just free damage. Alright, it goes for throw chop in the Fluttermane. If he doubled the Chiu, that would have been interesting. I missed the, the heat wave on the Chien Pao, so a little unfortunate, but Dazzling Gleam does pick up the Chien Pao, so this thing did not have a sash anyway. So it makes me wonder if the, you know, the Heat Wave would have picked up the Chien Pao, then a single target Dazzling Gleam into that Palafin. Makes me wonder. But uh, something to wonder for another day. And it's Leftovers Palafin, so it's a bulky set. Here's the Gotha Tell. I know he has Fake Out, um, and I just want to get a little bit of pressure off. So he goes into Ting Lu, which is interesting. I protect the Flood of Main, um, and I know he fakes out the Chiu. All right, because I didn't want to suffer from that. So here's some Heat Wave pressure next turn. And here's some Shadow Ball. The God that Tell lives, unfortunately, and he gets into his berry. He psychics my Fluttermane, and Ting Lu goes for a Stomping Tantrum. So I think if the God that Tell drops there, I'm in a really good spot, but I'm still in a pretty good spot anyway because I bring in Scizor once again. I can just remove this God that Tell and click Ice Spinner onto this Ting Lu. Uh, but he has what we, again, here's the Toy Terra Poison. Good tech move. Here's the Pounce. Super effective. God that Tell drops. All right, and here's Stomping Tantrum. I, if he clicked Body Press, I think he would have been in a much better spot, but I guess he didn't have it. So Palafin here, can't really do much. So I'm just going to protect Chien Pao, not die to Jet Punch, which is what he was going for, and just chip the Palafin again with Pounce, and it just drops, right? So um, that's just free damage. Again, here's Bullet Punch, and here is Ice Spinner. It does a lot, and the Ting Lu drops. So Scizor having good value in this game just because of the pressure that you get from Pounce. You know, the bug coverage is really, really good. Um, and then Chien Pao also just helped clean up in the back end. All right, so let's keep going. All right, another similar team with the Ting Lu, um, Chien Pao, and then the Palafin. And then he has his own Dragonite, his own Arcanite, and then there's a Mimikyu. So maybe some Trick Room shenanigans on the Mimikyu. You know, you never know. And then the Dragonite could be all kinds of sets, whether it be Choice Band, Assault Vest, or Lumberry, who knows. Um, but we, I know what to expect from the Arcanite and the Chien Pao, right? So from here, again, there's his Arcanine, there's the Palafin. Guess what I lead? Iron Bundle and Scizor this time. So Arcanine can't do anything here. I knew he had to bring it. Uh, so this way I can pressure the Palafin on both of these slots with the Iron Bundle. Um, and maybe even force him into a bad Terra, which is the, the Grass type on the Arcanine. Not that it's bad, but it's good for us just because of what we have uh, available. All right. So he's going to hard switch the Palafin for sure, um, you know, without a doubt. And he does. And he goes into a Chien Pao. A little bit more damage into the Arcanine coming in. This is why I click Protect Turn 1. I wanted to blade that Flare Blitz. I missed the Hydro Pump, so that's unfortunate for me. That would have been very, very valuable trip chip damage. So I'm just going to swap into Dragonite, take that Flare Blitz originally. It's going to do some damage, but that's okay. And now we click Freeze Dry, which is a more accurate move. This is why I wanted to bait that Terra a little bit, just for this reason. Gets him into Citrus, that's okay. And there's the Flare Blitz, and that should just put him in range of uh, Freeze Dry, but he decides to go into the Mimikyu. I'm going to go for Extreme Speed into the Chien Pao. It lives, all right? I did not have, um, you know, uh, oh, um, so we chipped the Mimikyu. And then there's Sacred Sword. We lived that, by the way. So that was fun. All right, here's his Arcanine Intimidate not mattering. I know he wants the Shadow Sneak. I'm not going to let him Shadow Sneak the bundle. Uh, I, we get rid of the Arcanine, which is good. Yep, there's the Shadow Sneak and bundle. And here's Palafin yet again. All right, we're going to switch into Scizor, you know, Again, extreme speed into Palafin, really, really good damage. He tries for a Scizor, but that's okay. He even tries for the Dragonite, that's okay. But um, he whiffs it, and that pretty much spells the end for him. He really needed it because now we just bullet punch the Mimikyu slot. And Scizor doing great in all these games, so um, that's it. That's what I wanted to showcase you uh, in terms of battle. So let's go back to the Poke Face and get you guys out of here. All right, so here's the team one more time. So again, it's an adamant nature, Chien Pao. Um, if that's how you like to play it, definitely go for it. Otherwise, you can just make this Jolly 252. The Dragonite set, also Adamant 252 uh, with the Choice Band. Man, with the some Speed also is relatively standard. Fluttermain, Iron Bundle, and Chiyu, they're both 252 Mons. Uh, and Scizor has a little bit of bulk to it with the Max HP, of course. 
Now, you know, with terms of move coverage, again, you saw how many times we were cooking, you know, E-Speed or even Dragon Claw, then Bullet Punch stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's some good use, okay? And, you know, Chiyu, Fluttermane, Chiyu, Iron Bundle are both very, very oppressive leaves that are both very fast. So, you know, if you can chip things down or even weaken them to the point where, you know, our priority moves in the back are going to finish the job, then definitely consider doing that, all right? But, yeah, this is it. Uh, let me know what you think of this, you know, Chien Pao, Dragonite Squad. If it, if it interests you a little bit, let me know if you like Tailwind Scizor. Let me know if you like Jolly Chien Pao, you know, just for the uh, sake of speed tie stuff. But, uh, yeah, we'll be back in another video in the next one, guys. Peace out and have a good night.